<laughs> Yo, we talking about groceries on FBA. Yo, easy. <laughs> J to the O, the Mayos. Groceries on FBA. What you know about that? <laughs> Step your game up, suck it. Hey, I just wanted to cover a uh, new option. Uh, if you're a Kindle uh, direct publisher, you made your own Kindle book, uh, there's a new option that's been recently added uh, called Promote and Advertise. You can see it right here. Uh, there's a new book that just went live uh, a couple days ago. Um, we, we were selling it as an ebook, and now uh, we've moved it over to the Kindle store. Uh, so uh, if you go to your book actions once it's published, uh, you can either click on the dots, or just, uh, if the promote is right there, you can just click on uh, promote and advertise. And it's going to bring up uh, this page. Uh, so, um, of course, this was always here, but now you can run an ad campaign to do advertising, uh, just like the Kindle product ads. Uh, if you're an FBA seller, you will you should be familiar with. Uh, and then just click on create an ad campaign, uh, which I've already started one over here. So it brings up uh, my book with all the information. Uh, and you can target either by interest, uh, which would basically just uh, select a certain category, uh, which most of our books are in a lot of different categories. Uh, or what uh, I'm going to show you today is how to do it by product. Uh, so you can, uh, unlike uh, the product ads, if you're an FBA seller, uh, with this you can select products sold by anybody or sold by Amazon, and it's going to put ads uh, to people targeted uh, directly to uh, those products and similar products. Uh, so I've um, went ahead, since it is a book, uh, about selling on Amazon FBA. I've chosen a lot of other popular books, books by Chris Green, um, and a lot of similar books, uh, products that people would use who are Amazon sellers. Uh, so you should really uh, think out of the box, not just look for products that you may know that people are selling. Um, you know, you can select uh, similar authors, uh, similar um, selling types. So. You know, I looked for uh, liquidation because my book is about liquidation as well as Amazon and Amazon FBA um, and some authors. I directly typed in Chris Green to target some of uh, his books. Um, but not only that, I used a lot of um, items, uh, as you see on the screen. I looked for uh, Dymo printers and um, barcode scanners, and I, I searched for the KDC barcode scanner, I search for Dymo printers, um, I search for USB um, barcode scanners that I know that Amazon sellers are going to use, uh, so other authors might may not be targeting these kind of products, um, but look for out-of-the-way things, and the good thing about this is you can use... Um, so what I've never seen uh, with other uh, ways of advertising on Amazon is uh, you can uh, target your ads uh, to not only products that Amazon sells, but you can also target it towards apps. So uh, I searched for Amazon seller app here, and you can see um, a lot of good apps that uh, people who are selling on Amazon or want to sell on Amazon are going to uh, want um, maybe using things like uh, you know, a garage sale app, um, Amazon Toys, uh, Seller Tool, and uh, the eBay app. Uh, so these are all apps that um, may be good. I, I already added the Scan Power app, um, the Amazon Seller app, of course, all sellers are going to want. Um, and now it's going to be targeting. Um, it's going to be targeting those people now. Depending on what kind of book that you're making, you're going to search for products that will apply to you, but all of these things are going to be uh, things that you can uh, apply to your ads now. Um, one of the... Um, 
one of the less desirable things, I think, is that there's a campaign budget uh, minimum of $100. Um, but of course, that's spread out. Over, you can spread that out. It doesn't have to be. Uh, there's options in the campaign setting. So I said for a month and for $100, you can always come back and change this. Uh, but from today to a month from now, um, and to spread out my campaign smoothly. So that's only going to be about $3. Um, we're, we have the price of the book um, quite low, $9.99. So we're not making a whole lot. Uh, I think only about $3. So we're going to spend um, a little over $3 a day um, over the course of a month, $100 for um, a month. Or you can select to deliver it as quickly as possible. Uh, I don't know how fast that's going to do. It depends on your cost per click. But, you know, you could spend that in a couple days or under a day, I'm sure, if you select that option. So I really wouldn't uh, suggest so, uh, people do that until you really uh, get the hang of this. Uh, then uh, campaign name, it's going to be whatever you want to make it. Um, and the cost per click, uh, it's giving you an average based on the items that, that are showing. So, um, you know, you can set it to be wherever you want. But if you said for 10 cents and the average is 36 to 44, you're not going to get a lot of clicks per day. Um, so I'm trying to get clicks. I'm trying to get people who are interested um, in what uh, the book I'm selling. Uh, so, you know, I threw it right in the middle, 38 cents. We'll see how that works. Uh, if it works good, maybe I'll lower it. Maybe I'll raise it. I did add uh, 211. I, I'm not sure what the limit is at this point, um, but uh, I know it's a thousand for the Amazon product ads for FBA sellers. Uh, so I'm... Um, this is a very similar setup, so I'm sure that, um, you know, they're using the same limits. So I have uh, click, clicked this option here, automatically extend your reach to include related products such as those frequently bought uh, with your book. So, um, you know, you don't have to set that, but if you don't, it's only going to target the, uh, the things that you that you selected and if you did a good job of selecting them and then just click add all on this page then you're going to see um, you know a lot of similar products which is what you're trying to do uh, then you just create, create your ad what you want the headline and the title um, you know I did try filling it up completely uh, but all the information was cut off so I um, chose to do just enough um, to get people's attention and show them, um, you know, not have half of my message cut off. So it's going to show you all the previews. Um, these are the five, uh, 270 by 200, 270 by 150, 300 by 250, 245 by 135, and 980 by 55. So um, these are going to be the different ways to display the information. Now, like I said, this is the size of the ad. So you can see if I put even uh, more than a few more words, it's going to go and uh, get cut off. So, um, you know, I edited it down to where it still fit on the page and wasn't just cutting me off in mid-sentence. Uh, these are the way the different ads look uh, being displayed on Amazon. And uh, as you can see, only the first one um, has the... Uh, has the actual description. Everything else just has a title and a name and uh, a picture. Um, and then your payment settings. Um, and then you just uh, click to submit it uh, for review. And, uh, and we wait, and here we are. Um, completely done. Uh, you submit it. it. They say it takes up to 72 hours. Uh, we've created a few other ones, so they don't usually take that long, a couple hours, similar to uploading your, um, your books to be uh, approved. So uh, that's really all there is to it, um, you know, and I definitely say give it a try. I know a lot of people are doing, doing good with this, and I just want to create a video to show, um, show you guys how to do it. Thanks for watching.